Hey guys, welcome back to MonoView. For this video, we're gonna be going over IVS tripwires. I'm gonna show you guys how to draw those and set them up on your MonteView NVRs. And then we're also gonna go over the recording schedule and setting it up for IVS. And finally, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up notifications for your tripwires on your smartphone or your tablet using MonteView Go. All right guys, so the first step in setting up a tripwire is going to be on the NVR main menu we want to head over to AI. It's the one with the big purple head. So once we're in AI, we're going to select parameters from the left side, and then we're going to select smart plan just below that. Now for any camera that you wish to get notifications from and have a strip wire set up for it, you're going to want to make sure you have smart plan activated. To activate smart plan, find the little light bulb symbol, and it's most likely going to be gray. You'll want to click it and turn it blue. Before you move on to another channel, if you're activating multiple channels for tripwires, you wanna make sure that you hit apply at the bottom right corner. So once we've got the smart plan activated and the light bulb symbol is blue, we're gonna head over to IVS on the left side. The first thing to do in IVS is we're gonna to want to make sure we choose the correct channel. Here I'm gonna be choosing channel D5, it's our outside camera. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is click on this add button in the lower right corner. And what that does is it adds a rule. So you'll have two options here. One is tripwire by default, and your second option is intrusion. Essentially, they do the same thing. However, intrusion can be activated simply by having somebody in the perimeter without crossing the wires. So today we're gonna do tripwire, and once you've selected that, in order to draw it, we're gonna click on this little pencil icon underneath draw. Once we do that, it's gonna take us to the full live view screen of that particular camera and you're gonna have this option menu on the left side. So in order to draw the wire, left click anywhere on the screen and you'll notice the line grows from that vector point. To create multiple vector points, every left click that you do subsequent from that is going to make a new vector point. So you don't necessarily have to do just a line. This can be a square, a shape, you know, whatever works for you guys and what gets the triggers the best. Once you've drawn your tripwire to the way you want it, the last thing you want to do is right click anywhere on the screen, and this is going to solidify the tripwire onto the screen. You'll get confirmation of this because you'll see rule one pop up or whatever you've named your tripwire, and then you'll also see the direction arrows pointing out from the line. So I do have some advice and a couple of tips and tricks for these wires and how to draw them correctly. Uh, cars and stuff, they can pretty much be on any kind of line. They're going to activate those pretty easily. However, humans sometimes can be a little bit trickier. Now, what you'll want to do, and this is what I do at home, is instead of a straight line, sometimes I do almost a saw blade serrated effect. For whatever reason, this just gets better depth for the trip wires, and they're a lot more accurate. One more tip that I can offer is that if you guys are setting up these trip wires to detect humans, a common area to get an accurate detections from is going to be anywhere from the neck to the waist. So you'll wanna be able to basically have the line go where the person's torso is going to cross for the most accurate and effective trip wire trips. All right, so once we've got the trip wire drawn, there are a couple of options you can engage here. One of them is going to be the direction. Now this is going to dictate whether the person activates it crossing from the left or from the right side of the line. Or of course you can do both. Usually my recommendation is to keep it at both because you never know where the person's gonna come from. However, if uh, your scenario calls for it, you can switch it to one or the other. Another one is going to be your AI filter. If you have an AI activated camera, this is going to be the ability to detect humans and vehicles versus everything else. So you can set your target filter here to choose either humans or vehicles or both. Or you can simply just turn off the target filter and the tripwire will activate for anything that crosses it. And here's just a quick real world example of what it looks like when a tripwire is crossed. So once we've got all these settings in there, we're gonna to wanna to press okay, and that's gonna take us back to the IVS screen. Now to finish out here, we wanna press the apply button in the lower right corner, and we're pretty much done setting up that tripwire. All right, so once we've got our tripwire drawn, there's one more thing that I'm gonna show you guys, and that's the trigger settings. 
So from here, there are quite a few different options. Uh, the main one here is going to be schedule. So this schedule is a little bit different from the recording schedule in that this dictates when the tripwire is active. If this recording schedule does not have a certain day chosen, then the tripwire will not be active for that entire day and you will not get notifications for that time. By default, the schedule is going to be set to 24 seven. So most people won't have to bother with this one. Once you've got all your settings here chosen on trigger, make sure to hit apply at the bottom right to save those. The next step is we wanna go over to the main menu of the NVR, select storage, and then we're gonna select schedule. Now in schedule, here's where we're gonna set up our IVS recording schedule. So a lot like the motion notifications, we're going to want to do IVS, which is the blue coloring, and you'll wanna activate it like so. So to set up IVS, we can either fill up the grid manually using left click, or we can click on the gear wheel icon on the far right side, and that's gonna take us to our period settings. So once we're on the period screen, we're gonna notice period one should be all day. And if that's the case, all we have to do is select IVS on the right side, and then select okay. And then you'll see the grid fill up with blue bars. As long as those blue bars exist and you wanna make sure that you're applying it to the right channel, if everything looks good, hit apply on the bottom right corner. Now we're all done with the NVR and we can move on to the smartphone to Montevideo Go. So again, just like all the other notifications on the smartphone, we're gonna to go to the home screen, locate your NVR, and then we're gonna locate the three gray dots to the far right side and press those. We're gonna choose device details and on the device details screen, we're gonna choose notifications. Click the little switch on the right side to on, and you're gonna see some options below. And for tripwire notifications, we're gonna to wanna to find AI analysis. Click on this. Then depending on what you're setting up, you'll either wanna click tripwire or intrusion. And then it's gonna show you the list of cameras associated with your NVR. So any cameras that have tripwires that you want notifications from, Simply just select the bubble on the right and turn it blue. Once you've got all your cameras picked out, hit the back button in the upper left corner, hit that back button one more time, and then we're gonna hit save in the upper right corner. Now it should say subscribed successfully. On a side note, one thing that you'll wanna make sure is that Montevideo Go has permissions to give your phone notifications. Then you'll wanna go into your phone settings, find Montevideo Go, and make sure all permissions are allowed and that it can send you notifications. If you guys have any more questions, again, give our tech support a call. We're always happy to help you guys out. Thanks for joining one of you guys. Have a good day.